Welcome to the Outer Worlds. Haven't played this game in over a year. I played it a couple times. It's a really, I like, it's a really beautiful game. The atmosphere is really cool. I mean, it really is. They, they did a really good job. This is a, Obsidian did this game, which I guess all Fallout people know that Obsidian did. Fallout New Vegas, which I didn't play Fallout New Vegas. And I tried to play it on the new PlayStation Plus subscription, because you could stream it online. And it worked pretty good, but my connection, my internet connection is not great for streaming games. Played it for a little while, and it wouldn't let me record it, so I was kind of like, eh, would like to record it. So this game here, I guess similar to New Vegas, is there's a lot of dialogue that can change the path of the game. So you got to pay attention. You kind of got to just shoot from the hip when you're talking to somebody and decide whether you know it's going to be a good conversation or a bad conversation or if you're making the right choice. Since I've played it before, I know some of it, but it's, like I said, it's been a year, so it's going to be uh, we're just going to be like learning it again. So let's start a new game, and we're going to go with hard. See how that works. Uh, Supernova, it's not for me. That's like a survival setting. It's crazy, as you can see, there's a list of stuff that uh, changes the game. Hard. I think I played once hard, and it was pretty good. And uh, we'll see if I can play it at hard or not. Like I said, I haven't played it in a while. Let's pick that one. Let's see, subtitles, we'll leave subtitles on for now. Show bark subtitles, what does that mean? If disabled, subtitles will not be shown for words spoken outside of conversations. That must be like background conversations, huh? Hmm. We'll leave that on for now. That might get annoying. Cinematic subtitles. Okay, we'll leave that off for now. Text size. We'll leave that pretty good for now. Continue. tell our mission is beginning Thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. <laughs> Disgraceful. Uh, 
Okay, we need to do some attributes. Let's see. What are we looking at here? We are... Strength. So, the attributes affect... Some of these skills. I mean, each attribute... You know, like this skill, this one here, both of these affect one-handed melee. This one here affects handguns, heavy weapons, but it doesn't affect handguns, just heavy weapons, block, inspiration, and intimidation. Inspiration deals with your companions, I think. You can have up to like, I think, three companions in this game. And there's a lot of companions, but you can have like three followers with you in this game, you know, at any mission. And the higher your inspiration, the more you can, I guess, inspire them to do stuff for you. I'm not sure exactly, because I don't use, I just don't use followers in this game. <clears throat> I, think I, I think I've had, in the very beginning, I'll maybe have one follower, but because the followers' storylines are pretty good to follow, too, you can, um, they have a lot of good side missions and stuff. Um, so we've got Dexterity, which is one-handed melee, handguns. Sneak and lockpick. See, sneak and lockpick are a really good thing to have. You know? And you have six. You see six points remaining. We have one, two, three, four, five, six attributes. You can take an attribute Let's out. Let's just hope you're handy with a gun. You can take an attribute out. And that gives you an extra one at the top. But you can only take one out. You can't take more than one out. Um, <clears throat> let's go back down here again. Mind, long guns, intelligence, long guns, persuade, hack, again, hack is really handy. Medical science, determination, perception, handguns, long guns. See, these both have long, long guns is nice. I like long guns, it's, you know, for sniping and stuff, that comes in real handy. Um, I don't use handguns a lot when I play this, and I have not used heavy weapons. You know, but this kind of changes as you go through the game anyway, but this just helps you out in the beginning and get things started. Personality. You've got charm, which, you know, enhances your ability to persuade, lie, intimidate, hack, and then science questions and intimidation. No, in Inspiration again. Next. <clears throat> and then temperament is lie, sneak, medical, engineering, and determination. So, and this also does hmm, health regeneration per second, which is, that's good to have. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Um, I usually put one in each of these. Because for Must guns. Remember not to sneeze near you. For guns, let's see. Because this is well melee, and melee is good in the beginning of the game, but I hardly use melee throughout the game. Once I got some good weapons, I didn't use melee much at all. Um. So I'm going to just put two in this one: dexterity, one-handed melee, handguns, dodge, block, sneak, and lock pick. That's really good to have. There we go. So as you can see down on the bottom right there, or on the right hand side in the bottom, it gives you an extra 20% to melee weapon attack and ranged weapon reload speed. Very nice. Here, Intel, what do we got here? This is long guns, persuade, hack again, science and determination, handguns and long guns. This is a bonus to headshot and a weak spot damage. Now that's kind of nice to have too. This does critical damage. So this is a toughie. Headshot and a weak shot damage. Let me see what happens if I put something in here. Uh, let me see. Headshot and weak spot damage. And that's a da -da -da. tough decision. See, because hack is really a good thing to have. In this game, you really want to hack some stuff. This gives you better critical damage, too. Um, let's go with this for now. No, you can't change it, so there's no for now. I mean, once you do this, charm. 
I don't need charm. Like I said, this is mostly for your companions. You won't be quite so boring after you've saved the entire colony. No, I won't. So we're going to take one out of that and put three into temperament, which gives you lie, sneak, medical, engineering, and then health regeneration per second. There if you, you were any more composed, you'd be a symphony. So that's what we're going with right there. I usually put one and one here, but we're going to go like this this time. <clears throat> Just see how it works. Next. Okay, we only got two points available here. You can only put them in the top of the tree. You can't put anything down here, but when you put it in here, it will add it to the ones below. Good. See? I need someone who can smack a little sense into this colony. So actually it puts 10. Each point puts 10 points below. Ah, a blood below. force trauma specialist. I might have a job for you. Okay, so we have two. And I'm thinking I want to hang out down here. Again, stealth and tech. These all right here. And all of these sub categories. You, you can raise them until you get to, to 50. If you get once you hit 50 with this, you can't put any put it points into the category heading will not up this anymore. Then you have to do it individually. But this is we've got sneak, hack, and lock pick. These are very good things. And you want to get these things up to 20. That's how you that's that's the big that's how you get this stuff unlocked. 20 is Unlock the ability to sell goods at a vending machine. That's you know that's paramount because you're going to be collecting crap like in the, like in Fallout games. Um, attack unaware enemies while crouched to deal bonus damage. Do you want that also? And then we got tech, medical. Unlock the second. Mixing bag in your slot. Yeah, that's good to have. Science. Improve your weapon and armor and the workbench. Another thing that's paramount. You can, you have to repair your weapons and your armor because they do debilitate as you're using them. And then field repair. You know, so especially in the beginning of the game, this is kind of good to have because you can repair your weapons. And you see those are the top things up there. So we'll put one in this one here. Things tend to vanish off tables whenever you're around. And that gives you this ability right away. 20 here, 20 here. Sell goods at vending machines. And 20 here. Doors and containers requiring one mag pick unlock to unlock are free to open. So that's a big deal. And we'll do this you one. You wrote that paper on breeding a cysty pig with 30% more tumors. Yeah, thanks, dear. Okay, so now we... We have a second drug in our mixing slot. You'll see what that is. We can improve our weapons at a workbench, and we can improve them in the field. Out of your inventory, you can just go into your inventory and improve your weapons. All right, next. Aptitude or aptitude. Um, this is kind of weird stuff here. <clears throat> I think. Okay, so yeah, in the bottom of that, it tells you which what that you get like an extra point and one thing determination or drink effect duration, block, persuade, shock damage received. Don't like that. Engineering plus one. Dodge plus one. N ray damage, which is a it's an elemental damage. Food effect. I don't care about food. I don't eat a lot of food. Corrosion damage received. Inspiration again. Medical plus one. It's probably a good thing. Plasma damage received. Science plus one. One-handed melee. Um, 
medical technician or science, which is a good one to get here. It's kind of hard to say. I think medical gives you better health regeneration, which is always a good thing. Science, aptitude bonus. Um... Let's go with medical. Because, you know, like I said, once the game gets... This is all good stuff for the beginning of the game. Once the I game gets going. I hope you're with needles. Once the game gets going, not much of this is going to matter. Okay. Um... How do you... Oh, okay. Uh, Jesus. Head size, mouth size. Holy crap, you can spend days in here doing this. Can make a big nose. <laughs> Head, skin tone. That's a good skin tone right there. Eye color. Let's go with spooky eyes. You can't see your eyes anyway in the game, so it doesn't matter. I don't know what that does. Yeah, I don't know what that does either. Eye horizontal, huh? Oh, okay. Brings your eyes together. Let's not be cross-eyed. Eye size. These are big eyes. Eye vertical. We'll go with that. Jaw vertical. Mouth size. Could be a tiny mouth or a big mouth, huh? Botox lips. We get some Botox lips. Nose size. Cheeks. Next. No, no, no. Let's go back. Wasn't done there yet. Can I just close that? There we go. Hair. Hairstyle. Let's get something wonky. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Alright, that's a good one. Hair color. Huh. Yeah, pretty poor color choices here. Why something green? What a green tint to it. What's oh, all the way over here? Mm. Got a bald guy too. Huh? Oh, wait, we had a mohawk there, didn't we? I'll stick with that one. That's pretty good, I guess. I just want something to show some more color. This is our green. I want green hair. Eyebrow style. There you go. A little snarky. Facial hair. We do here. Well, no, that's not going to match. That doesn't match the baby face here. we got to put something here. Maybe a little, just a... Come on, give me a mustache. Can I just get a mustache? I don't need a goatee. Okay, not a lot of choices there. Yeah, we'll go to shadow. Facial hair color. It's got to be green. Okay. Features. Makeup. We don't need makeup. <laughs> or could maybe. There you go. That looks pretty crazy.
<laughs> what was that? That looked kind of weird. That's good. I like that. Dirt? Get some dirt on my face? Sure, let's do that. Scars. What kind of scars can we do? Eh, we'll be pretty good. Age. Let's, let's, uh, yeah, let's get a little bit older here. I don't see that changing much, though. We'll go right there. Okay, next. Character name. This is always tough for me. Uh, let's just go with... Two words there? No, it looks like I can. There we go. Scream loud. That's the guy's name. And next, there's our summary. So we're gonna see how things fly. Start game with this character. Let's do it. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Bootlickers. <laughs> Initiate skip jump. There you are, wondering what's going on, eh? A bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Alp have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. <laughs> Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but <laughs> <laughs> nice. Is something wrong? Oh, yes. Well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see. Yeah? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. It'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Okay, save the world. Is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's 
supposed to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry. I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm all colonists are counting on you. Check some settings. Uh, okay, oh, all those tutorials are going to be in it. Here's our map. This is just the first of many maps. Um, but there should be some more settings somewhere. I wanted to double check all the settings. character. There's the character we made. Can't change these settings anyway. The attributes, they can't change the attributes. Inventory. The only thing we have is health. These are the consumable slots I was talking about. We'll be able to unlock those later on down the road. This is your inhaler. All of these slots. Whatever you put in here, when you hit the inhaler button, you'll inhale whatever's here. So we have one adrenal, it looks like, which that's your health. Uh, we have one suit. Uh, we have plus five on tech skills, okay. I guess that's probably because of the attributes we picked up. Um, it doesn't have a lot of armor. Light armor, three armor, that's all. So, we're going to be kind of squishy for a little while. Health. Mods. We don't have any mods yet. And this is inventory. Which gives you your total inventory. It gives you everything. No, it gives you your weapons. Okay, sorry. Yeah. And you have four weapon slots. Whenever you get a weapon, you can stay in a weapon slot. Um... This tells you what you're doing. This is your quest journal. We only have one. We gotta do that one. Here's the codex, which this is all of the game's notes right here. Tells you everything you need to know. This whole thing. This is like a really extensive library of the game, which is pretty cool. So Let's look at settings real quick. I'm looking for some other settings. What do we got? Graphics is pretty good. Audio, we're going to leave that. Conversation subtitles on. Okay, bark subtitles, we're going to leave those on for now. They may get annoying later. Controls. This looks okay. Sensitivity. Okay, that's okay. Gameplay, we're okay with that. We're leaving it on hard. Show player helmet. That's okay, yeah, that's pretty good. I don't mind that. Enable cinematic kill cam. That's cool. We gotta have the kill cam. And head bobbing. Let's see, there's a couple other things. Graphics, audio. Controls. 
Yeah, I don't see anything weird here that I need to worry about. X, Y axis, auto sprint. Um, hmm. Enable controller auto sprint to be able to sprint without needing to hold the control stick forward. Double click the sprint button to activate control sprint. I don't know, that might come in handy, but we're going to leave it off for now. Where is the... view layout. I didn't see that here. Graphics, maybe it's here. Field of view. Let's open, let's bring that up a little bit. I like to be able to see a little bit more. We'll go at 90. Gamma. That's the slider until you can barely see the left image. That looks pretty good. Show chromatic aberrations. Sure, why not? I don't know what that is, but yeah, we'll go with that. Seems to be there's something else I wanted to change. <clears throat> but that's all we got, I guess. this here. Let's close these up for now. Might need those later. Quests. It's okay. Map. Toggle inactive quests. Center on players. Zoom. Pan. Okay. That looks pretty good. I'll have to look through to make sure I'm not missing some settings. It seems like I'm missing some settings somewhere. Oh, here's our perks. You get one perk point for every two levels, I believe. So we're at level one. We hit level two, we get a perk point. Then for level four, you get a perk point. Then level six, you get a perk point. So you get a perk point for every two levels, I believe. For every even level, it says on the bottom. Okay. All right. And this is your reputation with all the factions. We're neutral right now, and as you do stupid stuff, it goes bad, and as you do good stuff, it goes good. So, before we venture out, let me see where's. There we go, we got that. And, they're, and it's going to tell me everything once we do it. So, that was a nice introduction video, and we're going to call it right here before we venture out. We'll start a new video to start the adventure. So, if you're watching, thanks for watching, and welcome to the Outer Worlds. See ya.